Today I'm going to show you how to knit. I have 10 stitches cast on here and there is a cast on video available as well. But assuming you've gotten past that point, I'm going to just show you the basic knit stitch. So you have these 10 stitches here and the first stitch is going to be, the first row is going to be rather tight. So don't be discouraged. It's just kind of a natural part of knitting, especially when you're first getting started. And I'm gonna show you how to knit. So you're gonna have your stitches all lined up, cast on in your left hand, and in your right hand, you're gonna have a bare needle. And the process of knitting is you're gonna take all of these stitches and create a new stitch in each loop that will be transferred over to the right hand needle. So to do that first, and there are some little poems and things that you can learn about knitting, and I can, I can show you that. But right now I'm just gonna show you the mechanics. So you go through or under the first stitch. So your setup, you wanna have them crossed over like this with your, I'll call this the working needle and the base needle. So the working needle is going to be right behind the base needle. And you're gonna take, be careful not to knit with your tail, okay? The tail is really important because you're gonna weave that in at the end of your project, but a lot of new and even experienced knitters end up knitting with this tail, and that's not what we're knitting with. We are knitting with our working yarn, which is attached to the ball of yarn. So you're going to take the working yarn and you're gonna wrap it around the working needle to create the new stitch. So that's your new stitch right there. Then I like to take my index finger and kind of anchor it and I'm going to bring my working needle down underneath the old stitch, which is this stitch. I'm gonna bring it underneath that old stitch. And then you're going to take the old stitch off of the base needle, just like that. And you have your new stitch there waiting. Let me show you that again. So take your working, this is the tail. Get, get away from there, tail, not helpful. So we're gonna take our working needle and insert it into from bottom to top, the old stitch and cross it behind. So the working needle is behind the base needle. Then you're gonna take your working yarn and create a new stitch by wrapping it just one time from back to front. This is important. Okay, you see it goes from back around. Then anchor it with your index finger and you're going to use that little pointer to take off the old stitch. So off it goes, and there's your new stitch, okay? So here's the old stitches, these are the old two, these are the new ones, okay? Again, insert from bottom to top, and it should look like a little X with the working yarn in the back. Here's the old stitch. We're gonna create the new stitch by wrapping from back to front anchor it with your index finger, and then you're gonna come down and make sure that you're only going through the old stitch so that this new stitch stays on the needle and off it goes. So one of the rhymes out there you can think of is th through the front door, around the back, down through the window, let me show you a little aerial view of this, down through the window, and off jumps Jack, off, in through the front door, around the back, down through the window, off jumps Jack, that is the poem. So when you're making these stitches, the reason these are tapered is so that you can get your needle in easier. So you can move your stitches down a little bit to make it easier to get your needle in there. But make sure when you make your new stitch that you're not making it up here, it has to be the width of the needle. I mean, that's why there are needle sizes. So make sure it is thick enough. You go all the way through so it's thick enough before you take off the old stitch. So we go in from bottom to top the working needle should be behind. Create the new stitch, anchor it with your finger, and then take the old stitch off while you make sure this is the correct size. Slow motion.
That is how you do the knit stitch.